Dear students, our lecture today is about immune responses. In this in these three slides there are, are some key definitions will be mentioned during the lecture. The learning objectives for this lecture are basic rules of immune system, dealing with bacteria and viruses in the extracellular space, dealing with intracellular pathogens, how does the immune system being alert to the presence of infectious agents inside the cells, and the terms antigenicity and immunogenicity. Basic rules of immune system. First of all, what is the immune system? Immune system cells and molecules that contribute to immune defenses against infectious and non-infectious conditions, self versus non-self. The first step is recognition. Step. Recognition of foreign substances and microorganisms that have overcome the outer defenses, just like skin epithelium, mucosal surfaces of the gut, respiratory and reproductive tract. The critical role here of the immune system is to determine what is foreign, non self, and what is normally present in the body as self. Therefore, the cells and molecules that comprise the innate immune system are preoccupied with detecting the presence of pumps. What is pumps? Pumps is pathogen-associated molecular patterns, particular molecular patterns that are typically associated with infectious agents. The pumps, after being recognized, trigger activation of the innate immune system. The recognition of non-self or infectious agents, as in this figure, is done by certain molecules, soluble, receptors, pattern recognition receptors, or cell-associated pattern recognition receptors on the immune cells. Pattern recognition molecule or receptors present either as cell-associated receptor, PRR, on the surface of immune cells, like tool-like receptor, nude-like receptor and regular one-like receptors or soluble molecules like just like complement, manose binding lectin, C-reactive protein and lysozyme. The pattern recognition molecules can recognize the pumps which are present on the pathogen. We mentioned complement. What is complement? Although we have spe specific lecture for the complement, but let's just define what is the complement. Complement comprise, comprises approximately 30 circulating and membrane express protein play a major role in defense against many infectious organisms as part of both the innate and antibody-mediated adaptive immune response. In recognition step, after pattern recognition molecules recognize the pumps of present on inside or outside the pathogens, then many immune steps or immune stimulation occur after 
that like binding the microorganism by soluble PRR molecule, enhancement of phagocytosis of PRR bound BAMs, protolytic cascade resulting in lysis of micro microorganism will be occur. Phagocytosis of BAMs and associated microorganism through the phagocytic cells activation in, in immune cell in countering bumps and release of cytokines to amplify response. The second step is elimination step. Elimination of these agents by a diverse repertory of cells and molecules that act in concert neutralize the potential threat. Third step is memory. Creating a memory in the immune system in that case. Immune system is able to learn from encounters with pathogen and to maintain a reserve of cells of the cell that are able to respond swiftly to a new infection with previously encountered microbe. Immune system has have acquired adaptive unability called immunological memory. The immune regulation, the immune checkpoints, it's a number of immune regulatory mechanisms exist to ensure that immune responses are proportional to the level of threat that a particular infectious agent process, as well as to ensure that immune responses are not being directed against self and that responses directed only against non-self and stop when the infectious agent has been successfully determined from the body. In this slide, the immune system will response of against the apoptotic cell and necrotic cell differs in that case. In, aptos in aptosis, aptotic cell, which undergo aptosis, program cell death, which display molecule on their plasma membrane that mark these cells for removal through phagocytosis before they can rupture and release their intracellular content. Aptotic cells do not activate the immune system in that case. While the necrotic cell during severe injury, where necrosis occur to these cells, which caused by tissue trauma, burns, certain toxins that lead to rapid swelling and rupture of the plasma membrane of damaged cell, in that case, dams will be released. The dams during the rupture of necrotic cell plasma membranes, danger associated molecular patterns called dams will release and activate the immune system. Pattern, soluble pattern recognition receptors and cell associated pattern recognition receptors will recognize these dams and bind with these dams to in order to stimulate the immune system. Now how the immune system deals with bacteria and viruses in the extracellular space that's in outside the cells. For both pathogens, bacteria or virus, immune system recognize this agent by complement, you know, complement is approximately 30 circulating and membrane express protein play a major role in defense against many infectious 
microorganism as a part of both innate and antibody mediated adaptive immune responses and through acute phase proteins, antimicrobial peptides, they remove them by destroying them through membrane lice. The same classes of protein involved in decorating infectious agent for recognition by phagocytosis by phagocytic cells just like macrophage, neutrophil, molecules that are involved in the decoration of infectious agent to prepare them for removal called opsonins. That means prepare for eating. I think you already know, knew how phagocytic cell deal with extracellular pathogen in previous lecture uh, and how to deal with bacteria and phagocytosis process occur. Here are some types of cells that just like macrophages which are present in all early or organs ingest and destroyed microbes in process of phagocytosis present microbial antigen to T cells in adaptive immune response and produce cytokines and chemokines. The monocytes present present in the blood, 5 to 7% in the blood, recruited at infection site and differentiate into a macrophage after that in order to call the microorganism. Neutrophils present in the blood, 60% of the blood leukocytes increased during infection to call, to call a microbial agent recruited by chemokines to the site of infection, ingest and destroyed biogenic bacteria, just like Staph aureus streptobiogenes. This figure shows types of opsonin and how opsonin act on the pumps or on present on the microbe. Here the microbe displaying pumps on its surface will be recognized by protein pattern uh, recognition receptors on phagocytic cell and bind with pumps. Also the there's many opsonin like include will bind with Opsonin receptor on phagocytic cell. Opsonins include complement protein C3B, C4B, also antibodies act as opsonin, IgG, IgM, acute phase protein like C reactive protein, C reactive protein, which is a protein made by liver, its level in the blood increase during inflammation. C-reactive protein test measure the amount of C-reactive protein in the blood to detect inflammation due to, to acute conditions or to monitor the severity of disease in chronic condition. C-reactive protein here act as opsonin to the for the microbe. Also. One kind of acute phase protein is the mannose binding lectin. The mannose binding lectin, proteins found in circulation bounded with proteases known as MASP, they can bind with pumps leading to activation of MASP in order to activate the complement system. In that case, it's just another pathway for elimination of pathogens. 
part when they bond with the pumps of the pathogenin. The phagocytic cells through its opsonia receptor will bind with this connected receptor and phagocytes the microbe in that case to eliminate pathogen. Dealing with intracellular pathogen, when the pathogen inside the cell, once the virus enters the cell, the proteins and phagocytic cell no longer be of any use in dealing with this type of infection because proteins cannot freely diffuse across the plasma membrane of the infected cell to either lyse or tag the infectious agent for phagocytosis. Although some specialized phagocytic cells, macrophage can kill intracellular bacteria that have invaded them, most cells cannot do that very effectively. So how the immune system deals with viruses in that case? Some phagocytic cell have a role in killing, in killing intracellular pathogen through the oxygen-dependent pathway, respiratory burst, and oxygen-independent pathway through lysozyme, lactoferrins, transferrins, and other proteolytic and hydrolytic enzymes. Does the immune system being alert to the presence of infectious agent inside the cell then? There are a number of intracellular pattern recognition receptors can detect pathogens that have intercells. This results in production of signals like cytokines, cytokines and chemokines are protein involved in signaling and communication between cells of the immune system, these proteins serve in chemoattraction, phagocyte activation, and in inflammation. That alert immune system to the presence of an infectious agent inside the cell. There is a clever way to displaying the breakdown product of pathogen after being phagocytosis to cells of the immune system through binding with MHC, MHC molecule involved in this process. MHC means major histocompatibility complex that involved in displaying the breakdown breakdown product of pathogen on antigen presenting cell, APC, to the cells of adaptive immune system. It's also involved in transplantation. Display breakdown product by MNC to cell of immune system. This figure shows how dealing with either inter intracellular pathogen like virus in case of virus infected cell or when bacterial cells are engulfed by dendritic cell and phagocytosed and break down to small peptide. How these two mechanisms occur? In case of bacteria, when bacterial cell engulfed by dendritic cell or phagocytic cells and then break down to small peptide, these small peptide present on the surface of dendritic cell as a complex MHC class 2 peptide complex. Binding, that's mean binding the peptide with MHC class 2 on the surface of dendritic cell. 
This complex will be recognized by CD4 T cell. CD4 T cell, CD4 means the surface marker present on T cell. When binding with CD4 T cell, a CD4 surface marker with MSC class 2 peptide complex, and then other receptors will bind together the CD28 on the CD4 T cell with its corresponding receptor on an enteritic cell or any antigen presenting cell B7, providing a signal. Second, second signal for activation of CD4 T cell in order to activate and differ proliferate, differentiate into helper T cell. In this path, pathway, the helper T cell will activate other immune cells like B cell, for example, to produce antibody or activate other cells, immune cells to eliminate the pathogenic bacteria. The other pathway, in case of intracellular virus, for example, in, in virus infection, the enteritic cell, after in discipline peptide protein with MHC class 1 on its surface, and this MHC class 1 peptide, the small peptide with from the virus break down the virus particles. With MHC class 1, com, uh, it will form a complex on its surface will be recognized by other type of T cells called CD8 T cells. CD8 also a service marker on T cell will recognize, bind and recognize the MRC class 1 peptide complex. And also it need another signal, second signal, that means second two receptors from CD8 T cell and dendritic cell to bind together, providing a second signal to activate CD8 T cell. CD8 T cell after activation, proliferation, differentiate into cytotoxic CD8 T cell. Cytotoxic T cell will, in that case, have the, the ability to kill the infected cell, in that case. and immunogenicity. Antigen, any foreign molecule, non-cell, can react with the product of the immune response. Immunogenes, molecules that can induce an immune response. There is a very important note that not all antigens are immunogenes. That means not all antigens can stimulate the immune response. Here are some immunological terms related to antigen. Epitopes. Epitopes, antigenic determinant, are small chemical groups on the antigen molecule that elect and react with the antibody. Haptem, it's a small molecule that is not immunogenic until it binds with larger carrier such as protein. In that case, it will elect the immune response. Adjuvant is a substance that enhances the immune response to an immunogen. Its chemically are related to the immunogen, causes slow release of immunogen, leading to prolonged exposure to immunogen to immune cell. Now the feature
features of immunogenicity include fairness, molecular weight, chemical, structural complexity, dosage route, and time of administration of antigen. All these affect the immunogenicity of an antigen. Factors contribute to immunogenicity just like genetic, age, immunosuppressed patient, lifestyle, type of diet, environmental factors. All these factors affect the immunogenicity. Thank you. Thank you very much.